Okay, hello guys. Not hallucinations. A horizon is coming. Cutting through space. If we're still here when it arrives, it screams so loud. We hear it in our head. It is oh. still far away, but it is coming closer. It will eat your prison. Every person on board. And it will still be hungry. Where will it go next, I wonder? I see you back in your prison soon, am you? This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from in here. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe. For the moment. It will be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. Two, three, one, two. would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterials. Oh, he's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. That's why we keep him here.
running. Five, six, four, five, five, six, four, five. Done it. Finally figured it out. How to do it.
Doctor Yu! It, Morgan! Up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk, we'll get you inside. I'm gonna kill this. Doctor Yu! Morgan! Up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk, we'll get you inside. Doctor Yu. Again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe. Dio Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but... Well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. Oh, I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. The officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. How did this... You don't look so good. I mean... If only I had reached the power supply in time. Ah, uh, yes, that could be one thing you could have done better in life. God, watching those things move it makes me sick. If he stayed there, he might have survived longer than any. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Venox.
Yes, it feels like you. You look like you need a medical operator. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Now, I wish we were. Don't know if Wiggy... Uh, Dr. Igwe is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. So you... Only Min is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The... My men told me power's been restored to the fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you, doctor. That means all we need is the turret fabricator plan. There's one in the safe in the security office, but... puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing... Oh. 